Many, many years ago, there lived a very powerful man who was rumored to have single-handedly captured a great evil that held his village captive for decades. The powerful man captured the evil spirit with the help of his grandfather's magical flute. He trapped the spirit inside a mystical box which was chained and thrown into the depths of the ocean. It has been said that whenever there is an unusual gathering of birds in the sky, the villagers should know that the great evil had returned and only one chosen by the spirits will be able to challenge the great evil and banish it forever. The villagers had just seen the gathering of black birds and were perturbed. They knew that once the evil returned, no one would be able to move freely at night as anyone who dared to walk outside their hut at night would be turned into a rock by the great evil. The villagers on seeing the gathering of black birds began to scamper to their huts. A girl named Foluke was out in the forest to pluck some herbs for her sick mother. She was unaware of what was happening in the village and the skies were almost dark at this point. Foluke heard a whisper in the forest which told her to go home. She was creeped by this and decided to head home as the voice had told her to. On her way back home, Foluke noticed that there was no one outside. This is strange, she thought to herself as she began to wonder what could have happened. Foluke walked for a few minutes and noticed a strong presence overshadowing her. She screamed, but no one came to her rescue. Her sick mother and sister were home, worried. Foluke had not returned, and they feared that the evil would have caught up with her outside. They however remained hopeful that Foluke would return, but this was not the case, as no one saw or heard from Foluke. By morning, news of Foluke's disappearance spread around the village and her family was worried, especially her sick mother who blamed herself for what had happened to her daughter. The people of the village looked around the village and saw several rocks. What this meant was that everyone who was outside after nightfall turned into a rock. The whole village was now in fear and the king called on his chief priest to consult the gods on what they should do. The chief priest revealed that the gods have chosen the one who would defeat the great evil for the village. The king asked who it was, but the chief priest said that the gods we are yet to say. One night, a very wicked woman locked her stepdaughter outside their hut. She accused her of stealing and locked her outside as a form of punishment. By morning, her stepdaughter had turned into a rock, and when the villagers heard of this, They burnt down the wicked woman's hut and warned the villagers that anyone who tried to help the woman would meet the same fate as her. The woman moved from door to door begging for refuge, but no one dared to help her. When night came, the great evil came upon her and she immediately turned into a rock. Many months passed and the great evil 
continued to torment the people. One day, a very powerful man came before the king holding a flute, saying that he had been chosen by the gods to fight the great evil. The king was relieved that finally the gods had answered the prayers of the villagers by sending the chosen one to them. Preparations began as the powerful man was set to defeat the great evil by nightfall. Once the skies became dark, the villagers locked themselves up in their huts. No one dared to come outside except the powerful man who began to blow his flute. The sound of the flute angered the great evil which turned the man into a rock. By morning, when the villagers saw that the man had turned into a rock, they began to panic and pray to the gods for help. The chief priests consulted their gods once more, and the gods said to him that the man was not the chosen one by the gods, and that the chosen one will soon come. A few days later, news began to circulate in the village that Foluke was alive. The people were in complete shock when they saw Foluke. Everyone thought Foluke had died a long time ago, but what they did not know was that the gods on that fateful night took Foluke to the mountains to prepare her for the battle with the great evil. The gods also gave her the flute of the gods and the box and chain with which she would use to trap the great evil forever. When Foluke approached the chief priest of the village, the gods confirmed to him that she was the chosen one indeed. By nightfall, Foluke stood in the middle of the village with her flute. She began to blow the flute, and this angered the evil spirit, which tried to fight back. But it was no match for Foluke, who now had greater powers than it. Foluke trapped the evil spirit in the box and buried it far away in the mountains, where it would be unable to break free. When Foluke got home, she met her mother and sister in good health. The gods had promised Foluke that once she defeats the great evil, her mother would regain her health. Foluke was so happy when she got home and saw her mother hale and hearty. Her mother and sister were so excited to see her as they all thought she was dead. Foluke was honored by the king for her bravery and the villagers sent gifts to thank her for saving their village. The lesson to be learned from this story is that our actions have repercussions and treating others with kindness and empathy is very essential. When faced with adversity, we should learn how to be brave and courageous. Also, we should never overlook the importance of humility and being open-minded as sometimes the solution to our problems come from unexpected sources. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. It helps us grow our channel. I'll see you in our next story. Bye.